Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm out for a walk in Cornwall today. On this side, it's a rather residential road, but if we look onto the other side, it's quite spectacular the view. I'm just on the edge of the Cornish fishing town of Foy. So Foy's down there. That's Pole Ruin, you can see over there. We're heading down there to St Catherine's Castle, one of the little castles on the end of um, where, well, the, the mouth of the River Foy goes out into the sea. So we're going to go down there, we're going to have a look at the castle, see what we find. You see a big ship there looking up the river. I did a few years ago, I, I came down here, I remember I went on the ferry across to Bodenick, I walked all the way around that estuary to Pole Ruin and then I got the ferry back. So it's a really, really nice place to go for a walk. But as I said today, we're going down there to St Catherine's Castle. So I'm now making my way down the zigzagging streets down towards the coast. Look over there, there's St Catherine's Castle, so that's where we're heading. We've got to go across this little cove when there's people um, canoeing and I think all sorts of fun in the water. So I'm going to pass there and up there to St Catherine's Castle. Really excited about this and it's going to be a nice little adventure. And I've just come across this beach. This is Ready Money Cove. Come up these steps and we're on to National Trust Land now, St Catherine's Point. And it's from there we're going to follow this path up through the woods to St Catherine's Castle. Then we're going to go and have a look at the ruins. You get quite a lot of these small castles at the edge of estuaries, especially around, um, well, Devon and Cornwall. We did a video, when was it, a couple of years ago, three years ago, at Dartmouth, where I explored Dartmouth Castle. And it was in a similar setting to this, so if you're interested, do have a look at the link on screen now. It's my exploration of Dartmouth Castle. I'm going to continue on up these steps, though, to find St Catherine's Castle. So the sea is down there below us. I'm now going up even more steps, and I believe we're not too far now. Oh, there's a sign. That's helpful. So we come to this wooden sign here. Ready Money Beach, 125 yards. Ribbon head, I think, two miles. I'm not going to go there today. Foy, three quarter miles, so I possibly could go back to Foy that way. Um, I'll, I may or may not. So we get to here now. This sign looks like it's broken, but I would say the castle is down there. But we're going to go straight on because I think I can already see a good view ahead of us. So we might as well see the view and then we'll, we can go back down there to find the castle. So as we come to here, yeah, we're on headland now. And wow, the view opens out, look at this. Looking out to sea. So you've got to see one way. There's the castle. It's not a huge castle, but there will be more, but we'll have a look when we get down there. And that's looking up the Foy Estuary. So the town of Foy is there. Um, so that's the main branch of River Foy going that way. I'm not sure if that's also a river, the River Foy. So it's like two rivers. You get over Lou, there's the East River Lou and the West River Lou. And then um, that's Paul Ruin over there. So let's, um, let's, let's just go around. The castle is that way. We'll go around here and see a bit more. This is the Southwest Coast Path. I've said that in this in videos as well. I'd love to walk it um, one day. I will do it one day. So one day I will, I'd just love to do a series where I walk the whole of all the coasts of Britain. But right now we're just here in Foying Call. So I'm going to go down there next. We're going to go and do what the whole purpose of this video is to go and see St Catherine's Castle. So as we now walk down through the woods to the castle itself, just a little bit of history. Going back to the Iron Age, it'd have been more like a staging point, stroke sort of lookout. It wouldn't necessarily have been manned all the time. It then became medieval castle. There'd have been a chapel up there where we were. It eventually became part of Sir William Rashley estate. So he incorporated it into his estate and then the most recent fortificational use, if that's a word, it's had was um, during the war in the 1940s. It was used as part of the, the coastal defence. So we might see some, um, yes, as we come into the castle itself, you can see where they would have had guns looking out, mainly out that way. Because of course, as we said when we were up there, that is the River Foy, so that's looking inland. So you can see where the two guns would have been placed. And then there's the older part of the castle, so we're going to go up those steps and see what we can see, which should um, no doubt be very exciting. We, uh, yeah, I think... And there's a pretty sheer drop down there. Well, no, well, we're not quite as high. We were quite a bit high, but let's go. Let's go a bit higher. 
up to the tower because that looks too exciting to not see. It also has that feel of, you know, the haunt of the smugglers and the wreckers. Interestingly, there's another little castle over there or a little tower house. Um, and I can just see what looks like ruins of a castle up at Paul Ruin, just there. I think I vaguely remember seeing a castle there, so get up these steps. What I do like about Cornwall is the coastal things you get on the coast, steps like this, you know, where there's, don't worry about health and safety, you know, no fence on the other side. You just have to, you know, not stand too close to the edge. So we go up here, and still, instead of about no fence, you can literally walk to the edge. Uh, look down. That's the path we just walked along down there. We went up through the woods. So I started the video off at that field up there, which is actually also natural treasure. It's called the Castle Fields. We made my way down through the houses across the beach to here. Now let's go up to the most exciting part, the castle. Never been here before, so I am literally seeing this as I explore it. I'm showing it to you. If we go up here, love the views. Yeah, always enjoy going to a castle, it's always a bonus when you go to a castle which has views like this. And let's see what else we can see. I think we can probably go inside, yeah, into the tower. Cool. There's some stairs up there that go onto the roof, but I don't think we can get up there. I'm not going to go do any climbing today. But um, it'd be quite fun if you could go up there, walk around the top of the tower. Let's just go out here. See the view. So that's where we were a moment ago. See where the guns would have been. One of them. And that's where the other one would have been, just down there. Let's see what happens. See where this will take us around the edge. Okay, yeah, so it comes to a bit of a dead end. You can see where we were not so long ago. You can see some people. So that's where we were, so around there would have been a chapel. There is a cove right down there, which um, I think is very difficult to get to unless you have a boat. Certainly not gonna go down there. Let's go up these rocks a bit and um, just have a look at the view. Just watching that boat go out to sea. I really like, on a hot day like today, it's not really, really hot, but it's quite just on that boat going out to sea. It must be so nice out there. I'm now going to make my way back to Foy and um, we'll have a look at the, just see what we can see on the way back. So back in Foy Town Centre, that's the Esplanade along now. I thought before we go, we'll just go and see where you would get the ferry to Pole Ruin. It's £2.50. I haven't got time to do it today, so I'm not actually going to do it. But what you do is you walk down all these steps, and um, it looks as though it's just there, just the other side of the breakwater. I think I can actually see the flag on it. So that would take you across to Pole Ruin. So if you are in Foy, I do recommend doing that. That is quite a fun thing to do, as is uh, the walk to St Catherine's Castle. And as we go along here, we'll be able to look back and be able to see where we've been, St Catherine's Castle. I'm going to walk back up there, make my way back to the town centre. Hopefully I'll get an ice cream perhaps. So as we go along, it actually goes quite a long way. There's another little beach as well. Um, so if we look out there, that is St Catherine's Castle right over there. There's another little beach here. The whole ruin looks very attractive too. So like I said, it is worth going to. Perhaps one day when I've got more time, I'll come here and I'll make a video about the walk all round the estuary, because that is really worth doing and you can do both the ferries. Um, I have also taken my car on the ferry, not my larder, at the time I had a Rover, but I did once um, drive on and off the Bodnick ferry. And I remember when I got to Bodnick, going in the church, it didn't look like a church, it just looked like a little cottage. It's only because it said Bodnick Church, I realised. So we go up here, and um, I'm going to walk along the Esplanade back towards the town centre. It's a very attractive town. It does have a railway, unfortunately no railway station. There's a branch line down from Los Wivial on the Great Western Main Line. And um, when you are on the Great Western Main Line, it looks as though the line to Foy goes downhill. It doesn't. The line to Foy is level. It's the Great Western Main Line going towards Penzance that's going uphill. So it's freight only though now. They have occasionally run passenger charter trains down there. Whether they ever will, I don't know, it'd be nice. 
if they do perhaps we'll come down there so I'm going to follow the Esplanade now back to the town centre well, that be the biggest ship we've seen today out there I'm going to go back to the town centre get my bus back to Pal railway station um, so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you're in Cornwall you know do come and visit Foy it's a lovely town a lot to see here the castle is worth a visit it's a bit of an energetic walk but you might hopefully have a bit more time than I did today so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the Esplanade in Foy down in Cornwall on a lovely summer's day thank you very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>